Hey now, welcome to Tea Fairy Storytime. Today's story is She Persisted, 13 American Women Who Changed the World, written by Chelsea Clinton and illustrated by Alexandra Boyger. That was my dog. You can hear her go grumble, grumble, grumble. Throughout American history, there have always been women who have spoken out for what's right, even when they had to fight to be heard. In early 2017, Senator Elizabeth Warren's refusal to be silenced in the Senate inspired a spontaneous celebration of women who pers persevered in the face of adversity. In this book, Chelsea Clinton celebrates 13 American women who helped shape our country through their tenacity, sometimes through speaking out, sometimes by staying seated, and sometimes by captivating an audience. They all certainly persisted. She persisted is for everyone who ever wanted to speak up but was has been told to be quiet or to quiet down for everyone who has ever tried to reach for the stars but was told to sit down and for everyone who has been made to feel unworthy or unimportant or small with vivid compelling art by alexandra boyger this book shows readers that no matter what obstacles may be in their past they shouldn't give up on their dreams persistence is power she persisted. 13 American Women Who Changed the World by Chelsea Clinton and Alexandra Boyger. This is a Philomel book and the copyright is 2017. Inspired by Elizabeth Warren and in celebration of all women who persist every day, CC. To some heroines of mine, Coretta Scott King, Sophie Scholl, and my mother, Berta Boyger, A.B. Sometimes being a girl isn't easy. At some point, someone probably told, will tell you no, will tell you to be quiet and may even tell you your dreams are impossible. Don't listen to them. These 13 American women certainly did not take no for an answer. They persisted. Harriet Tubman was born a slave and her story could have ended there. Instead, she persisted in escaping from slavery and becoming the most famous conductor on the Underground Railroad. She risked her life many times to lead countless slaves to freedom, including her family and friends and strangers. Every, per every person she led to freedom arrived safely. I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted. Once Helen Keller became blind and deaf as a toddler, few people thought she'd be able to learn to read, write, or speak, but she persisted. Helen learned how to do all three and got not one, not <laughs> only, sorry, became the first person with deaf blindness to graduate from college, but she also used her story to help fight for more opportunities for people with disabilities in the United States and around the world. One can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. After her family fled poverty and the threat of violence in Ukraine from a new, for a new home in New York City, Clara Lemlich got a job working at a garment factory. She wrote that these factories' conditions made women into machines. And so she persisted, organizing picket lines and strikes that ultimately helped win better pay, shorter hours, and safer working conditions for thousands of workers, both men, or women and men. I am one of those who suffers from the abused, abuses described here, and I move that we go on a general strike. Clara Lemlich. Nellie Bly became a reporter in part because a male writer had said that working women were a monstrosity, and she wanted to prove that women could do anything. At times, putting her safety at risk, she persisted throughout her career in exposing real monstrosities, pretending to be a sweatshop worker and a patient in a mental hospital to show how badly people were being treated. I have never written a word that did not come from my heart. I never shall. Inspired from an early age by her brother's childhood illness, Virginia Apgar was determined to be a doctor 
bef long before many girls had such dreams. Even though she qualified to be a surgeon, the male head surgeon at her hospital discouraged her because she was a woman. Nevertheless, she persisted, becoming an anesthesiologist and creating the APGAR score to test a newborn baby's health, which hospitals all over the world still use today. Nobody but nobody is going to stop breathing on me. You see all the little babies? After Maria Tallchief's family moved to California, partly to support Maria's dreams of becoming a dancer, she was teased by students in school for her Native American heritage and later was encouraged to change her last name to something that sounded Russian since many professional dancers at the time were from Russia. She persisted, ignoring all the taunting and poor advice to become the first great American prima ballerina. It never occurred to me to say it hurt to do that. After a, as a 15-year-old riding a bus home from school in Montgomery, Alabama, Claudette Colvin was expected to give up her seat to a white woman just because she was African-American. In her refusal to get up, she persisted in taking a stand for what's right, helping to inspire Rosa Parks to make the same choice nine months later, an act many point to as starting the modern civil rights movement. I knew then, and I know now, that when it comes to justice, there is no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have to take a stand and say, this is not right. When Ruby Bridges was in kindergarten, many schools across America, particularly in the South, still refused African-American students their equal right to an education. Ruby wouldn't be treated like a second-class student, and she persisted walking for weeks past angry, hateful protesters and to integrate an all-white elementary school in New Orleans. That fateful walk to school began a journey, and we all walk, we all must work together to continue moving forward. As the first woman to serve both as a U.S. representative and a U.S. senator, Margaret Chase Smith could have let the fact alone be her legacy. Instead, she persisted in championing, women, championing women's rights and more opportunities for women in the military, standing up for free speech and supporting space exploration. The head of NASA once noted that she wouldn't, that we wouldn't have put a man on the moon without Margaret Chase Smith. The right way is not always the popular and easy way. Standing up for right when it's unpopular is a true test of moral character. Sally Ride always believed women could succeed in any math or science career. Although not everyone agreed, she persisted and she became the first American woman in space. But that wasn't enough for Sally. She traveled into space once more and then created a created a science and engineering program specifically for girls so she could help generations of young women achieve their dreams too, both on Earth and in outer space. Young girls need to see role models in whatever careers they may choose just so that they can picture themselves doing those jobs someday. You can't be what you can't see. When, as a kid, Florence Griffith Joyner visited her father in Mojave Desert, he would urge her to run faster and faster, to run as fast as a jackrabbit. Even when she had to leave college to help support her family, she persisted in her training on the track, then went back to school and got faster and faster. Her unbroken world records in the 100-meter and 200-meter sprints set at the 1988 Summer Olympics means she is still the fastest woman ever. When anyone tells me I can't, I do, or I'm just, wait, when anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. See, sometimes grown-ups make problem, make mistakes when they're reading as well, but we just keep reading. 
Oprah Winfrey's grandmother expected Oprah to follow in her footsteps and become a maid. Oprah knew, even as a little girl, that her dream would take her somewhere else. She persisted in turning those dreams into her reality and became a media superstar, working in movies, books, magazines, theater, and, most of all, television, where the Oprah Winfrey, Sh Winfrey Show remains the highest-rated talk show of all time. The biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Justicia, justice, juez, judge, le lave. Watching fascination, watching fictional judges on television inspired Sonia Sotomayor to want to be a real life judge when she grew up. She knew she'd have to speak English as well as she spoke Spanish, study hard in school, and manage her diabetes before she could one day wear a judge's robe with a gavel in hand. She persisted, eventually becoming a Supreme Court Justice and the first ever Latina to sit on America's highest court. I have never had to face anything that could overwhelm the native optimism and stubborn presence, per perseverance I have, I was blessed with. I'm getting tongue-tied today, guys. So if anyone ever tells you no, if anyone ever says your voice isn't important or your dreams are too big, remember these women. They persisted, and so should you. And that is the end of this very lovely book. Chelsea Clinton is the author of its Your World, Get Informed, Get Inspired, and Get Going, and with Debbie Sh Shridhar, Governor Global Health, who runs the world and why. She is also the vice chair of the Clinton Foundation, where she works on many initiatives, including those that help to empower the next generation of leaders. She lives in New York City with her husband, Mark, their daughter, Charlotte, and their son, Aiden, and their dog, Soren. You can follow Chelsea Clinton on Twitter at at Chelsea Clinton. Alexandra Boyger has illustrated nearly 20 picture books, including the popular Tallulah series by Marilyn Singer and the Max and Marla books, which she also wrote originally from Munich, Germany. She now lives outside of San Francisco, California, with her husband, Andrea, daughter, Vanessa, and two cats, Luiso and Winter. You can visit Alexandra Boyger online at alexandraboyger.com. And that's the end of She Persisted, 13 American Women Who Changed the World, written by Chelsea Clinton and illustrated by Alexandra Boyger. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did, and I hope that you have a lovely day. Talk to you soon.